sons and daughters of the Most High God. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. And today is June 10th, 2024. And it is 4.05 p.m. here where I live. The Lord gave me a message at 4 o'clock p.m. Just four minutes ago, or five minutes ago, because it's 4.05 now. Anyway, I wanted to tell you that this message is for the prophets and the prophetesses and the seers. Listen, receive, and obey our mighty God. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we come before you, precious God, to thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace, to thank you for all that you have done, going to do, and will be doing in this place called Earth. Lord, we know that our time has ended, and we have been living on borrowed time for quite a while already, Lord. Jesus, I am here in this day and hour to bring forth this message to your people, to those who are messengers of Christ. Lord Jesus, for I was born for such a day and an hour to bring forth this message this powerful message, Lord God. For I have been born for such a time as this. Many of us have been born for such a time as this. Lord God, your people are made ready for what is coming in the near future. Father God, your warriors are ready for the spiritual battle that's at hand. Lord God, we will listen, receive, and obey your mighty words. Thank you, Jesus, for your love, mercy, and grace, your compassion, Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. King of kings and Lord of lords, that's who you are and always will be. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Calling all prophets and prophetesses and all seers. I, your God, have given a message to my blessed handmaiden to bring forth to ye all. I want ye all who are my prophets and prophetesses to speak loud and clear the words I have already given thee. Do not let them stay in your mouth. This is, this is a decree and a commandment for all to hear. Do ye not see my second coming getting closer and closer at hand? Well, I tell ye that it is coming closer and closer, my children. Look up, my child, for your redemption draweth nigh. For soon ye shall no longer hear my voice through my messengers, for they shall be with me in heaven a place where I have prepared for all my beloved children to come home to. My beloved children, your time is over, and I am coming to bring my beautiful and glorious bride home with me. My messengers, and is speaking to you all that are messengers, prophets and prophetesses, and seers. For I am the God of all creation, and I am coming.
to make an end to all evil and wickedness that is in this world and make all things new like I have promised. And I am doing a good work in all of ye who made me their Lord and Savior, their everything. Love Yeshua Mashiach, your Lord and King. My fellow brethren, those who are prophets and prophetesses and seers, make haste, make haste, make haste of what you just heard and do what God has commanded you to do. Make haste. Make haste. Make haste, my brethren. For the day of the Lord is at hand. Shalom. Be blessed. And we are out of here. Listen and obey. The message has been brought forth from the book of Jeremiah 29 11. Listen, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an an unexpected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you, and ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Shalom be blessed. There are already high tendencies towards a global world order, and this is fast becoming a reality today. But let's pause for a moment. What exactly is a global world order? This refers to a governing system prophesied to emerge in the last days. It envisions a world government with a singular political authority holding sway over the entire planet and humanity. It's anticipated to be an immensely formidable and efficient system of government. The global world order involves the merging of the world's military, industrial and financial resources to establish and uphold world peace and security. Advocates of a new world order often use speech promoting globalism, advocating for a world without borders, a concept that aligns with the technical advancements we're witnessing today, such as the Internet. Their vision typically revolves around unifying people, cultures, and faiths into one cohesive entity. In some respects, this idea of unity is undeniably appealing. After all, who could oppose the notion of an entire world population coming together for the betterment of humanity? However, there exists a significant issue with the global world order. What might this problem be? The underlying concern with this world government is profound. It requires a central authority with significant power to essentially dictate people's actions, thoughts, speech, and even beliefs and worship. It may seem unimaginable, but we're already witnessing sovereign nations being directed on what laws to adopt, encompassing areas such as sexuality, economy, faith, and belief systems by influential nations. In Revelation 13, the Apostle John envisions a period where the world strives to return to Babylon and establish a new world order. Satan is the mastermind behind this global world order, aiming to enforce a specific object of worship in the last days. This grand design of systematically uniting countries, cultures, and faiths is attributed to Satan, who is regarded as the god of this age in 2 Corinthians 4.4. Furthermore, 1 John 5.19 informs us that the world lies under the sway of the wicked one. John explains it in this way in Revelation 13, 1-4.
The dragon stood at the shore of the sea, and I saw a beast coming out of the sea. It had ten horns and seven heads, with ten crowns on its horns, and on each head a blasphemous name. The beast I saw resembled a leopard, but had feet like those of a bear and a mouth like that of a lion. The dragon gave the beast his power and his throne and great authority. One of the heads of the beast seemed to have a fatal wound, but the fatal wound had been healed. The whole world was filled with wonder and followed the beast. People worshipped the dragon because he had given authority to the beast. And they also worship the beast in I hope every one of you that are called prophets and prophetesses heed to this message. And the Antichrist is about to come into place. You know that if you're prophets and prophetesses. Make your hearts ready, people. Make your hearts ready. Make your hearts ready. Shalom.